Remdesivir is an antiviral drug, so it attacks the virus particularly. So that's what it was made to do. It basically uh, prohibits the virus from replicating and then spreading in the body. And so by stopping it from replicating, you hopefully eliminate the potential for the consequences uh, in hypoxia and kidney damage, liver damage, et cetera, that would really be a complication of the disease. And so the results basically showed that the time to recovery, which was really the primary endpoint, uh, was improved from 15 days down to 11. And the criteria we used for patients that could be discharged from hospital without oxygen, who didn't need oxygen at home, uh, and didn't have limitations to their ability to uh, go around. And then importantly, we also were able to show that mortality reduced from 11.6% down to 8%. So it didn't go to zero for sure, uh, but that about 30% reduction in mortality is really encouraging. So for this next phase, the adaptive part, is we add another drug. The name of it is called baricitinib, and that drug blocks inflammation. We know that a lot of the disease in this uh, 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 infection has been related uh, to the fact that uh, baricitinib uh, and other drugs could block inflammation and perhaps reduce some of the lung injury or the pneumonias that these patients are, are getting. And if we could do that, that would substantially improve outcomes, we hope. And so that's especially what this is looking at in that setting. We would like a drug uh, like Tamiflu, if you would, also Tamivir, that treats influenza. And I think people know that early treatment with uh, in, uh, influenza drugs is much preferred over later treatments. And so it'd be interesting and hopefully will occur that by identifying patients early and we had easy to give oral therapies, we could treat them early and prevent not only bad side effects and symptoms down the road, uh, but we could also improve outcomes uh, in those patients.